Hello everybody and welcome to a new modded character showcase. Today we are going to be checking out Arachna, the new spider based character that's just been released. I'm quickly going to go over the Steam Workshop and just let you guys know what the character has to offer because there is quite a lot but the character does come with a normal and tainted version as well as unlocks including 10 new items, 3 trinkets, 2 consumables, a new shopkeeper type, a new beggar and 20 new friendly spider variants as well as the character just having a ton of costumes uh, and like I said they do have unlocks so definitely an intriguing character we're just going to jump on in and try the character out they do start with a pocket item called the arachna spool which apparently is going to throw out webs you can also see that we start with some web parts which it did say on the description are a bit weaker but will release spiders now it did say new spider variants like new spider types i'm not quite sure what that means uh but i'm sure as we Ah, oh, there you go. That webs them. Okay, nice. Uh, I, I'm sure we'll see how what that means. I'm guessing the enemy has to be in the web because the the recharge is is quite short. So we. It, oh, there you go. Wow, that is quite quite the meaty sack right there. I wasn't expecting it to be quite so large. Let's get the spool ready. Okay. This is getting interesting. So there's, there's quite a method to the madness. And then they hatch into spiders. And here we're seeing some of the other spider variants. So obviously we have our regular blue ones. But we have a red one. And what looks like sort of a pinkish one as well. So that's that's really interesting. Okay, I'm, I'm definitely down for this character already. Seems like it's definitely um, hard to 100% utilize all of the kit. But definitely seems like it's plausible. Get, get in here, fly. Oh, that's a different that spider there as well. Okay, maybe it doesn't work on the flying enemies. But we'll sort of see what some of these spiders do. Okay, so that one was a charm one. So I'm going to guess they're just various different stats effects types, which is definitely okay with me. I like the idea. Oh, there you go. And that guy got webbed as well. Oh, this is going to be... feels like it could be a particularly strong character. I wonder if the uh, spiders in this character still deal two times tier damage, because that could be quite strong. I also, I don't know if we're going to be gaining spider hearts naturally or um, just finding them as normal. But this is definitely a character because of the unlocks and stuff that I might uh, consider adding to the series. Um, obviously, I'd need a thumbnail and stuff for it first. But it's definitely a character that I've got in mind. There's a lot of them already. Let's let's do some testing to see if flying enemies can indeed be webbed. You're, you're the perfect, perfect person for it. Okay, so no, they definitely can't. Which kind of makes sense. Oh, we got a doubled spider as well there, look. Double blue spider. Now, I do wonder if um, these new spider types only spawn via the spool or if, or if like, say we get uh, Infestation 2 as a regular item on, on any other character. It did say that it adds new spider types. I wonder if these can show up on other characters. Also, there's a few different sprites for these web sacks. I did unfortunately lose my spider heart there. It did say that they, they were a little, a little weaker. I still like using the webs despite not being able to create... The sacks because it does slow the enemies down considerably. Let's come over here and get you. And it slows their shot speed as you can see as well, which is really nice. There's a bunch of spiders. Beautiful. Beautiful. Alright, what we got in here? Athlete's foot. Uh T is scaled how much you move. Not bad. We we do start with higher speeds, so that doesn't bother me. Nice. Okay, if we're moving around, we're going to get higher tiers. Let's go and fight our boss. And they scale downwards when we stop moving, I see. Okay, that's rather nice. We've got pretty good fire rate right now. I do wonder how this is going to work on the bosses. I completely threaded the needle there. Okay, we charmed one of you straight away. That was pretty good. Seems like the damage on this character is pretty damn good. It explains why she only starts with 2.8 tiers and... We get the black pony early on, which is rather nice. We'll go to the alt floor. I would guess that with this character, any soul heart or heart in general we pick up will become one of these webbed hearts. It's going to be nice having these like on for other runs as well. I would like to go in there, but we'll exit and lose our web heart, which I would rather not do right now. Ooh, that was a good play there. We almost got all of them. In fact, we did. We got every single one of them. It's a rainbow party. That sounds horrible, but you know what I meant. Uh, anyways. Oh, we missed out on a good guy, but we got tech 2, though. Yeah, Rainbow Party isn't really, really the term that I wanted to use for that. I'm liking this. I love the gameplay loop. Like, you, there's a little bit of tactics to making sure you get the most out of your spider webs. 
and like trying to sort of utilize it as much as you can before like big fights like the boss. It might be on a bit of a quick recharge, maybe. The, the, the speed at which it recharges is pretty strong, considering the spiders do a lot of damage. But I'm not going to judge the character based on strength right now. Ooh, this is a very interesting champion version of you. Okay. I can use Tech 2 to kind of push into the webbing. There you go. It does push them out of the webbing a little bit if we hit directly, though, which is a slight shame. Good, good. We got you. And you do lose all the spiders anyways when you get to the boss, but so far, really cool looking character. I just, I think the costumes look really good on her, and just visually the character is very, very appealing. I think it's very fitting with Isaac's theme. I like the fact that they kind of took the Infestation 2 costume and rolled with it. Um, I mean, I think that's generally just the spider aesthetic anyways. I'm not saying they specifically took it from uh, Infestation 2, but you've definitely got that vibe. I really like it. Okay, this is going to be a hellish room. Okay, so these guys can be webbed, even though they fly. Interesting. Oh, God. Oh, my Lord. Some tough rooms here. We definitely need a little bit more damage, just so the Tech 2 laser's not quite as pathetic. But it's not so bad. It's just a little weak right now. So, can we pick up hearts? Okay, we can't pick up red hearts that we don't need. I was just wondering if we can maybe, like, convert them into spiders. But that might be a little strong. Let's try and find our item room and see what we end up getting. Oh, God. Oh, wait. Oh, we had an ice spider there. Very intriguing. Wasn't expecting any ice-based ones. That one seems rather strong. Couldn't quite get those. Oh, yes. Got one of them. Got one of them. And we got a big boy spider as well. That's what I like to see. It's going to be interesting seeing all these variants of the spiders. There was quite a lot to go at. The, the developers, I don't know how long they've been working on this, but they've put a very high amount of effort into the complexity of, um, of the character in terms of, like, the different additional spiders you can get and stuff. Like, I think a character like this that just spawns spiders without any additional spider types would have been just fine, but they went the extra mile and added some extra intrigue to it with uh, these extra spider variants, and that's a really cool little idea and detail that they uh, added in there. Oh, I should have seen that explosion coming, really, shouldn't I? We definitely need some more HP. We're, look we're lacking a little bit here. Honestly, Dunn's Cap's kind of good, but I'm going to take that, and I'm very glad I took that because the mitre is very nice here. Now, this could be crazy for us. Unfortunately, it wasn't. Some of these uh, some of these boys are, like, poofing into it, little explosions. I'm going to go into the shop and see if we can buy a soul heart as well. I think that'd be rather useful. I would like some bombs to get into our secret rooms, but that's not always going to happen for us, is it? This is a good shop. A lot to offer us here, but we only really need this. And we shall continue onwards. So we didn't actually get a webbed heart there. I was expecting an, a webbed heart. Intriguing. By the way, um, just so that you guys know, uh, I, I like to try and make this disclaimer when I remember. I am playing with a lot of other mods at this time. So if there's anything that's happening that is unintended by the developer, it is not the developer's fault at all. Obviously, at this moment, I don't know if that's the case. Um, it, it, it might be... I, I feel like it's working completely as intended right now. But um, if there is any issues, it's almost definitely... Um, compatibility with the mods I'm already using rather than anything on the part of the developer themselves. So just be aware. And um, if the developer is watching, I don't know if they are, but if they are, feel free to leave any comments about any mistakes or misconceptions I make about the character. This is my first time playing. I'm going in truly blind apart from the information on the Steam page. Um, so yeah, please do feel free to make any connections that you feel necessary. I'm sure there's some mistakes and some... Um, some inf information that I may have got wrong or misconstrued. Either way, good kill on Clostomia there. We do indeed get our angel deal, and there's that damage up we were kind of looking for. Do you know what? I'll take it. Oh, do you know? I was really hoping it'd give us the, the, the bloody tech thingy, but that's with, techno that's with normal technology, not tech 2. But I'm still pretty happy with the spirit sword run, especially as a spider. I feel like I'm going in with a bite, and then tech 2's like... We got that bit of range. You will hear me, unfortunately, spamming the Tech 2 noise pretty much constantly now. Also, interesting, 
Yes, okay. We stick them up and we get in there. Close. Ah uh ha -huh. I like that. Yes, that's going to be super, super valuable. Oh, that should have hit. That should have hit. I need to be using it a little more, though. I feel like I'm slightly underutilizing it in some areas. Okay, I, th I think it's enemies under a certain amount of HP can't be made into sacks, which would make sense because, like, the power might be a little too high if you could just make, like, basic flies. Also, extra soul heart there, rather nice. So let, let me just check something just to just to be assured for myself. Um, she can't have red health, instead gains web hearts. Okay, so I think she can still gain soul hearts as normal, she just can't gain red hearts. I was, I was, I had a little bit of a misconcept there with how that works. We don't need piercing. I thought it was that she could only have web hearts. Anyways, let's go back to the shop real quick and see if we can get anything nice out of there. Is this an Excel floor? It's not. Uh, confessional spawns after clearing a boss. That's kind of good, but I think um, tarot cloth right now is what we'd want. And we got the foiled chariot. I still want to complete some of these extra rooms to garner some extra um, spiders, nonetheless. We've got a nice little army going, but we could always have more. We could always have more. I, I, I was just about to say, let's not use the red button and gather some spiders here. But my brain was just like, red button, endorphin, go. <laughs> and just ran straight at it. Ooh, slightly broken synergy. Edgeless cube battery triggers on us using the active, even if we don't use the active. Obviously, I'm not going to abuse that, but it does mean that every single time we use our spool, we are going to get some edgeless cube battery action, which is rather nice. Ooh, the one thing with the spirit sword that I'm just noticing there, we do unfortunately have a pretty hefty bit of knockback on that bad boy. Pretty hefty bit of knockback. Right. Excuse me, bomb. Let's line her up. Yay. <laughs> I just had to. Beautiful shortcut there. I wasn't, not, not really a shortcut per se, but a speedy way of getting around. That was fun. So yeah, I think, I think I was wrong about it not working on flying enemies. I think it's just enemies above a certain amount of HP. Is that a Dominic? I think it is. We've got the smelter here. Unfortunately, we don't actually need that right now. Nice. Wow. The spiders absolutely annihilated you. We've got marbles. Very nice. Which would have been nice to get before the smelter. But we can get that, which is going to give us some burn hearts per floor. And the sword and shield. You've got to go with it. The sword and shield combo. We are Link himself. We have become him. And we carry on down. We are a spider that is Link. <laughs> I love that. Hey, and there you go. Look, our burn heart has turned into a web heart. So we're going to get a guaranteed one web heart per floor. Which I quite like. That's gonna be that's gonna be pretty useful. The hollowed heart is a really good trinket just in general. So, one thing I'm noticing that is slightly problematic: our edgeless cube battery is so strong that we are accidentally killing enemies before we can hit them with our spool. It's not not every time because it's random in which direction it travels, but sometimes it's happening. Is that a rainbow spider there? Okay. Look at that. <laughs> The Edgeless Q battery is just ridiculous sometimes. Like unlimited range herming. It's such a ridiculously good item. And like in Deliverance, it's in the shop pool. Yeah, I moved it to the uh, to the item room pool because I thought it was kind of ridiculously overpowered to be in the shop pool. But you do you, Deliverance. You do you. Like it's not always overpowered. It does require you to activate your active item. Or I think it also periodically triggers. Okay, we lost our webbed heart. But we got a soul heart back, so I don't mind. Ah, oh, I missed. I just love how much of an army we're creating. I will sacrifice health to kill you quickly. 
You got a soul heart there. Damn it! There's just spiders everywhere. Absolutely everywhere. It's brilliant. I'm loving this. This character's a hell of a lot of fun. I don't know how well balanced they are, but then again, I am on a very strong run, so it might just be that they're pretty well balanced. I think probably the way that I'd go about it is lower their base fire rate and damage a little bit. Just so it's, like, enough so it's not absolutely painful, but enough so that, like, the spiders aren't ridiculous. Or maybe up their base fire rate and heavily lower their base damage. I don't know the best way to do it, to be honest. I'm just kind of, I'm just kind of plucking things out the air, but because the, the spider's damage is based on your own, it might be better to have your own damage be a little weaker to avoid the spiders becoming a bit too strong. I really like the uh, the visuals on these these webbing sacks, though. They look really cool. They've done a very good job. Oh my god, chest in a chest in a chest. My god, you see that? I throw the fucking... I, th I throw the spool. By the time it e even reaches them, everything's dead. Another chest in a chest. My god. See, now this I can actually play well. If I... Oh, wait, no, my spiders are just going to get them all. Doesn't matter. Yes. Lead them all into my web. Yes, yes. Step into my web. I've got, like, one sparkly boy in there. There's, like, a sparkly spider going going around. I'm not sure if he's, like, golden or what. He looks cool, though. <laughs> yes. Ah, the spirit sword knockback keeps catching me out. I wonder if the birthright effect will increase the radius of the webbing. That's what I would do if I was going to make this character's birthright. It might end up being a little more interesting than that, but that seems good. Ooh. Schrodinger's tears can cause lag, and I... Do okay, it does work. It does work. I was about to say, I don't know if it'll work, but it does. Beautiful. I keep taking really bad damage, I will say that. We finally found the item room after years of searching. At the second item room, should I say? Ooh, unfortunately not a great item for us because it does require us to charge. But... Wait, what? Oh no, I just didn't charge it enough. Apparently I, I can no longer charge my spirit sword now. It, it just doesn't work. Okay, well that's unfortunate. I don't know what happened there. <laughs> the game didn't like that though. Anyways, let's keep it moving. Let's get back to our bosses. We got mother coming up. God damn, this is a crazy long XL floor. I think it just feels longer because I don't get XL floors that often. So it just kind of feels a bit crazy. Grab these bombs just in case. We do now have enough money to get deep pockets, but it's like, why at this, po at this point in the game do we need it? Oh, I did see that tinted rock there. Do you know, that's something. In like all of my YouTube career playing Isaac. I say career, that sounds horrible. But all of my YouTube time playing Isaac... I don't, I don't think I've ever had a missed Tinted Rock comment. It's like such a huge meme in the Isaac community that it's like, oop, oh, Mr. Tinted Rock, especially with like Northern Lion. Um, that like, yeah, the people just meme like, oh, Mr. Tinted Rock, Mr. Tinted Rock. But I don't think I've ever really had that. Or at least not that I remember. I'm gonna use the flames here. Let's charge up and use the flames. Use the flames, Luke. Wasn't that, wasn't all that useful. I haven't had a Spirit Sword in so long. Feels good. Spirit Sword is not a super interesting item just because it doesn't have a ton of synergies. But it is fun to have every now and again. I'll check out Boss Rush. And see if there's anything crazy going on. Now there is Jacob's Ladder. There's also this. Uh, spawns two permanent Abyss Locusts as companions. Um, Jacob's Ladder. Yeah, let's do it. Now one thing that is problematic about Boss Rush is I don't think we can gain any spiders during the entirety of this fight. Maybe we can just do this the whole fight. Ah, 
Calm down, Blurt. And you. If I just, like, pop this every now and again, I should... To be fair, the, the webbing seems to last the entire room, and not I know that not every enemy is going to get slurred, but I should, like, utilize the fact that the webs stay around. I might be able to kill some enemies where it works. Like, there's a Bernie there. It worked on a Bernie. Not that I tried it, but it would have done. I promise. Oh, for God's sake. Your chain reaction to be right into Monstro. Got you. A cell heart there. You bastard. I'm taking a lot of damage right now. I hope I don't die on boss rush. Oh my god. The amount of speed that I've gained here is crazy. Sadly, I can't use Spirit Sword while I'm in this mode. Okay, my mini dudes are still alive somehow. Ow. We took a full heart from that? Oh my god. Taking a bit of a beating here. Gish managed to jump out the way of that. Mega fatty. Yeah, I'm definitely taking way more damage than I thought I would in this. I, to be fair, it's not even mainly that. Like, I kind of knew I'd take some damage of using Spirit Star, for God's sake. But I thought I'd get more Soul Heart drops from the Mitre. Normally, like, Boss Rush drops a ton of Red Hearts. When they have like a 20% chance to be a soul heart. Like there's not even any red hearts on the floor. Like I'm just confused what's going on. Oh dude, you dashed the wrong way, you dick. I wasn't expecting that. We got one soul heart like right at the start. Dude, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I've got to be near the end, to be fair. That was close. I pressed the wrong button then. Very close to me being dead. Like, I bet we're like two or three waves off of done. I'm a bit worried about Chubb now for some reason. <laughs> I haven't fought the Angels yet, so we've still got them at least. Oh god. No. We got both of these guys on the same bloody one. Okay. Let's just sit back and, and chill for a minute. They can't hit us here, I don't think. And they will die eventually. I, I can't believe I've like made this so risky. Why are you firing di diagonally upwards? It's weird. Why you take so little damage, dude? Like, so little damage. God damn. <laughs> How has it led to this? I must... God damn. I was like, it must be over now. It's, it's not even over yet. Please. Thank you, it's over. <laughs> it's over. Okay, we might just die as soon as I get to the next floor. I would really hope not, but we made it out of boss rush. We unlocked something, even if we die from this point onwards. I'll be pretty happy with the showcase. Oh, we gained a burn heart as well. Beautiful. Well, a webbed heart, should I say. This guy could also provide us with some good stuff. I got hit straight away. He did. He did. He giveth. Gluttony takeaway. 
but then he giveth back. We're back in the game, people. We're back in the game. Only just, but honestly, I'm glad that I did it because I got a good item out of it. And there's a half soul heart back as well. Let's try and uh, regain our spiders, shall we? Let's try and regain the spiders. Um, what happened there? I lobbed the spool and it just kind of hit him. Um, I think I broke the spool. Okay, no, there you go. It worked that time. But for some reason, my spool is now wiggly too. It shouldn't be. Ah, oh, that was a bad hit. Yes, got one of you. Yeah, for some reason, if it hits the enemy, it doesn't drop a web anymore. I thought it did before. Maybe I'm mistaken. Correct me if I'm wrong. Please do. Do not like the idea of this room. Oh, that guy turned him into gold. Nice. Get some extra money drops from that dude. Yeah, look, it, like, hit the enemy and just disappeared. I think that's something to do with Schrodinger's tears. Do you know, just to... Just to better showcase the character, let's just go... I don't know how to spell Schrodinger. Um... I really don't know how to spell Schrodinger. How the hell do you spell Schrodinger? One moment. Okay, I found out. <laughs> Let's just remove Schrodinger Tears, just to um, try and remove the issue where uh, the spool isn't working. Because I don't want... I want to be able to use the spool. It's part of the character. It's part of the showcase. I don't want to have it be uh, not able to be used because of that. Because I think that's what's doing it. Because Schrodinger's Tears means that you fire three tears, but only one of the three can hit. The other two disappear. So I think for some reason that was causing Schrodinger's Tears to affect the... Um, well, you've been charmed. Uh, to affect the spool somehow so when it was hitting enemies it wasn't actually counting as a tier okay let's not die again please again just sit back we got some he healing good and we got an item that i wouldn't exactly say is great but i'm glad to have there's a soul heart okay we're sticking in the game somehow. We're, we're sticking with it. I don't really know how, but... We're still alive. See, that one kind of works at times. Good, good. Beautiful. It seems that enemies that split into other enemies, it doesn't really create any more web sacks from. Which is probably a good thing. Otherwise, certain enemies, like the little spider sack enemies, you can get ridiculous from. Knew I was going to get hit there. I just accepted it. I wanted the webbing too much. Oh, there's the soul heart back, though. Don't worry about it. Goddamn cube batteries up killing things before I can use my sack. Another one. We got a pretty good army going this time around. Boss Rush kind of made me feel weird because I didn't have an army for so long. I was armyless. Pop your head up, fella. A five room? I don't really think we need that on this floor particularly. Hey, we managed to get it out before the spiders got to him. On a chest. There's the soul heart, baby. The fool. Okay, good. Oh, I'm dodging shots by, like, the smallest margins. Okay, the spider should wreck you. So should I. The web heart has appeared in the basement. Awesome. And we'll take the way up. 
I think we're probably golden now. We're probably sitting pretty. I'm not going to say it's a guarantee, but my health has gotten back to acceptable levels. And I feel a little less unsafe. But we've had some, uh, we've had some scary moments here. Die while you're in the web pool. Yes. Maximum spiders from that room. That's a lot of boys. Maybe just the amount of spiders you get pair webbing could be changed too. I don't know. You get a lot. I, honestly, I genuinely don't know the damage formula or like the way that the, 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 the developer decided to balance this character. So I can't really speak like, I can't really speak properly about it. And honestly, like, it's fine to have overpowered characters. I've, I've seen a few comments recently, people saying, Oh, Turtle, you think everything's overpowered. And honestly, in modding, I do tend to think a lot of things are overpowered or are overtuned. But usually the reason that I say that is because, for one, I'm a veteran player. Like, by definition, I have, like, what, what? Like, I think I have 1,600 hours in this game, pretty much. Um, so, I, by very, very definition, I'm pretty much a veteran player of this game in terms of hours. Um, and so the game is a bit e on the easier side for me. So I do like it to stay hard. And mods tend to make the game easier in general. So I tend to advocate for slightly more vanilla balance. Things that make the game um, not so easy. But also, like, it just usually makes the game a lot more fun for me. If it's not, like, something that's going to give me an instant win. But that doesn't mean there's no place for it. And there's, like, there's, like the, the dice character, Di Dizer. That is, like, ridiculously overpowered. But on purpose. Um... And I, I can I can definitely get behind that sometimes. I do forget how utterly awful um, Spirit Sword can be. Oh my god, that's stood in the worst place possible then. Utterly horrible Spirit Sword can be for these bosses. Choose the shield. Good, good. A spool has appeared. I wonder if the spool will generate sa uh, sacks of spiders on other characters too. Probably, probably. Blood puppy. Unfortunately, not not anything very good there. I will take it all though. None of it's useless, but none of it's good. Blood puppy does his thing. Yes. That's what we're looking at. Look at all the spiders. Actually, we only got three. <laughs> Still, that was nice, though. That's a, that's a nice amount. I'm really liking these different varieties of spiders, too. Yeah, so these enemies are too weak for us to turn into sacks. Now, that guy got turned to ice, so he technically didn't even get the chance to turn into a, a spider sack. Because enemies that turn into ice don't technically die. I think it's just like our damage, like without the spiders, is just pretty terrible. <laughs> like it's taking us forever. Oh, we managed to open that somehow. I'll accept it. Three random hearts. Oh, the soul hearts, baby. Yes, please. And another soul heart. We're getting buku bucks here, boys. Good, good. Because we're only on Soul Hearts as well, the Polaroid invincibility here is great. Oh, ho, ho. that's a good trinket. Great trinket anyways, but for us, it's very, very good. No thank you, Keybagger. No thanks. I'm full. Good, good. Kind of funny how, like, the Keepers would normally drop pennies if they die late later than the other enemies, like if they die last. And even though I killed Bambino first, his death animation was so long, I managed to fully kill the keepers before Bambino actually technically died. Every single enemy in the room to spider sack. Also, a big boy is being angry. Calm down, my big fella. My chunky boy. I told you about this. Yes, we got some big boys in there. We got some big boys. Soul of Lilith. Hell yes. Aw, oh, farting baby though. I was hoping for some intrigue, something cool. Instead we get farting baby. We've also been poisoning enemies periodically. I don't think I even mentioned that. 
So the poison tea is a nice to have. Good. good. Leave him be, leave him be. There you go. That's all the spiders. Hell yeah. Try and not lose all our spiders before the boss. No, Chunky Boy, you're eating all my spiders. Damn it, I lost so many there. To be fair, this guy spawned some stuff. Maybe they'll give us spiders. One of the spiders was explosive, apparently, I think. Just use the sword and shield and the damage to demolish him. Beautiful. And there you go. 3D glasses has appeared in the basement. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed that look into the Arachna character. A very, very cool character. Very well designed. A lot of fun. Please do try it out. I'll see you guys in the next one.